Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we're going to be doing one of the quests that is uh, time sensitive. Now, you have only basically one chapter to be able to do this quest, and if you don't do it before the end of the chapter, you will lose it forever. So I highly recommend doing this as soon as you get it, because not only is it time sensitive, but it's also a lot of fun, and that is the bank robbery with charles i actually had saved this on my first playthrough of chapter four and found out that you could not do it again basically well, you couldn't do it again you couldn't do it after chapter four so you need to get it done before you leave this area or you'll never have the chance to do it again now this particular bank robbery is limited to those who bought the special and ultimate editions but there are other quests that are specifically time sensitive in chapter four chapter three and other chapters of the game and i will be making a video on all all these bits, shut up damn it bill god i'm trying to record here can't you see get your drunk ass in your tent and go to sleep anyways now where was i we got to talk to charles here and we're gonna rob ourselves the Rhodes bank i hope you guys all enjoy this episode and thank you so much for your support on the series so far fella sold me these plans Oh, what do you gotta ask him for, Charles? Damn it, Man. Bill. He's just gonna make a big drama out of it. You know he will. Drama out of what? <laughs> Only the easiest little bank score ever got taken. Well, I don't like robbing banks now. You like complaining and whining. We never robbed that bank in Rhodes. Arthur's good. He's the best man we got. And this is easy. But he complains a lot. <sighs> what is it? Turns out there's a big weakness in the building. They replaced a window to improve security, but the bricks are real weak. So? <laughs> the vault right behind. The fella sold me the plans, told me all about it. It's an open secret in town, due to be fixed any day, apparently. And we got enough explosives? I don't think so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Come on. Let's rob us a Just bank. No wine in there, Arthur Morgan. Oh, shut up. I'll make you wine. <laughs> oh, give me this. <laughs> I love Charles. Everything that goes that we do with Charles goes really well in the game. So I'm really excited for this bank robbery. And I'm sad that I missed it during my initial playthrough. But regardless, if you guys want me to showcase more of the special time-sensitive quests that you can do in this game, let me know in the comments below. But in general, I will be making a full video to show all of the time-sensitive things that you need to do to actually 100% the game. Let's see if Charles has got anything to say here. It's been a while since I robbed the bank. I'm looking forward to this. He is excited. Of course I have. And what about that one up near Canada with you and Bill a couple of years ago? He was the lookout. And not a very good one, if I remember right. Can you believe this, Charles? I'm staying out of it. Try not to get us trapped in a burning barn this time, Uncle. And you try not to kill half the town over some imaginary gold. <laughs> he has a point there. Yeah, that's it, boy. Just realized I called Uncle Bill. But I was frustrated. Yeah! Kept talking. Now, we shouldn't have too far to run Probably to roads. Best we approach the bank from the back. Don't, Don't look at Arthur using his brain. Us. I agree. It's this way. Let's see here. I wonder if I can go ahead and put on my executioner hood now. There we go. Oh, I lost my top hat. Big old disaster. Ooh, why are we slowing down? In front of you. Let's cut through here. These are the most talkative bunch we've been with so far. Now, there are two coach robberies that are time sensitive in chapter four. So make sure to, anytime you see a coach robbery, take advantage of it while you can, because most likely it's going to be time sensitive. And there the is bank. the Rhodes Bank. Just there. I see it. Yeah, this way. Let's rest here till dark. This is my kind of bank robbery. Just chilling like a villain. It's time. Let's go. All right. Wake up, beautiful. What, already? Yes, come on. All right. 
Let's see what's going on. That boy over there, he's a guard for sure. Well, I'll go deal with him. Silently, please. Of course. Charles, you gangster. Can I just hit him? Oh. Silently take down the patrolman. And of course, he's just spooping away just at the right moment. And we get to leave his body in the shadow. Perfect. Hopefully nobody's gonna miss him. All clear. Good work, Arthur. Follow me. All right, Charles, what you doing there, crazy man? This is gonna make a lot of noise. Grab that spool, Arthur. Unspool that wire to about thirty feet away. Thirty feet, you say? Sure. Thanks. This won't take long. Oh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> Got the good old plunger right there, next to the next to the shitter, just like I like my plungers. I'm really curious to see how much money we're actually gonna make from this. Okay, I think we're all good. Do I get to do the honors? You you are. Oh, it is on like Donkey Kong. Push the stick, Arthur. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, baby. All right, let's do this. Nice. Oh, look at that. We got a vault here. Okay. Well, that makes things a little bit here. easier. Check those other vaults. Yes, hurry up. We ain't got long. Oh, oh, nice. So they're already opened. Hell yeah. That's a hell of a good way. Come on, Arthur. Oh, God. Oh, Rhodes is poor. They ain't even got any gold bars in here. That's a lot of cash, though. I'll take the cash. $210 from that one. I wonder if there's going to be like $210 in each. Ooh, this one looks like it's got a lot more money. Come on, Arthur. You need to grab it a little bit faster there, home skillet. Yeah, you stick the those bills in your pocket. $249. So it looks like we'll probably, after splitting this, make about 300 bucks from this heist. Not terrible, especially if we can get away without getting a bounty. Let's Uncle, go. what you Tell doing there? Quick. Coming. Let's go. Look at that smooth heist. Hell yeah, ain't nothing go that well in this game. Oh, that's not, oh, this is my horse, okay. Let's see, nobody's seen us yet, so we shouldn't get a bounty. Oh, we got a $50 bounty. Man, why did they slow down? This ridge. What the hell is Uncle doing, man? There he is. Get that last guard out of there. We should be just fine. Wait, we're going towards the Braithwaite Banner. That's a horrible idea. Turn around! Go the other way! What is going on up here? Always rescuing somebody. Is he like on foot? No, we're gonna leave him behind. Where's the road? They like put fog here on per- Why is he moving so- I think he's on foot. We need to lose him! Oh, now he's catching up. That was weird. I guess I probably shouldn't have worried about him and just kinda kept going. That is at $75. Obviously the less people we kill on our way out, then the less bounty and technically the more money we make from the heist so just keep that in mind if you see one person straggling behind just keep booking it and they'll catch up 
and you'll have less of a bounty to deal with at the very end. So that way you'll actually get more money from this particular mission. Let's see what happens once we actually finally escape. Divvy up the money, and hopefully Charles got more money out of his safes than I got out of mine. Because so far we're looking at about 350 probably, if the average... Oh, God! Is the same. Almost got taken out by that stranger danger. So, 75 bucks. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. Uncle, what Let's are you doing, around. man? Enter camp. Make sure there's no one tailing us. All right. Meet outside, Shady Bell. Let's go ahead and head back. You talking about before? You boys to bring me along more often. Maybe things go a little smoother. There's no substitute for experience. That's why we don't bring you the lack of experience. Hey, come on. I wouldn't start celebrating just yet. You know, Smith, I feel like me and you are going to be fast friends one day. I'm an acquired taste on account of my complexity. But everyone learns to love me in the end. Uh-huh. I'll take your word for it. He just got taken out. <laughs> Uncle is a disaster. I'm <laughs> uh, NPCs getting a taste of their own medicine. That is some kind of awesome karma right there. Maybe since that happened, we don't have to split the money with them when we get back. That'd be pretty cool. We can lie to him. Do we want to lie to him? I kind of want to lie to him. We'll split this 50-50. Give him like 20 bucks or something like that. Finally made it back. How much money are we going to make from this quest? Mission? Robbery? I don't even know what to call easy. it. Real easy. How'd we do? We did okay, I think. Here. And thank you, boys. That was fun. Now, don't forget to give the camp its share, Uncle. Oh, as if I would. As if. Now, split up, both of you. Let's get moving. Man, $137. Get up. Ow, I was right on the amount of money that we were going to get, but then I completely forgot about the camp's share. But, I mean, pretty easy quest, easy money, especially if you're trying to play honorable and not doing any other robberies. That can actually come in really handy. So definitely make sure to take advantage of it while you can. You get to rob a bank. I mean, how does it get much better than that? I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.